I'm gonna show you this fat tire electric bike, the simple step through, the dimensions and weight. Stick around. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna show you the dimensions of this fat tire electric bike, which is the simple step through 20 inch fat tire electric bicycle and walk you through everything you'll need to know about it from a measurement standpoint. Now, just to start off right away, this electric tricycle weighs 92 and a half pounds. Now, that's with the battery. Without the battery, there's a 15 amp hour battery. You're gonna reduce the weight by 10 pounds. So it's gonna be 82 and a half pounds. So if you are looking to put it onto a rack, that's something you have to think about is being able to lift it up or uh, if you have a ramp, that's a really good idea if you're putting it in the back of a truck or something like that. Okay, now let's talk about some of the measurements here. The width in the rear is 32 inches, just about right on 32 inches. So getting it through doorways is gonna be tough if that's what's something you're looking to do. Uh, standard doorways are usually about 32 inches. Now the tires are four inches wide front and back. Um, the front tire is actually a 24 inch diameter and the rear is 20 inch. We have it set lower in the rear for better stability. The full length of the trike from the front of the tire to the rear is 77 inches. From axle to axle is 50 three inches. <coughs> okay, and now let's get into some other dimensions that I really like, which is number one, oops, let me get the seat here locked into the lowest position. Okay. So is this step over height here. This is only 10 inches and you've got an opening here of 11 inches. So stepping on and off and through this trike is so simple and easy. It's exactly why we designed it that way. Now, the seat in the lowest position is 32 inches. And from the ground to the top of the seat clamp is 28 inches. So if you are a shorter rider, the other thing you can do is the pedal here in the lowest position is actually only three inches off the ground. So you can step through and you step onto the pedal and from there you sit down. So it makes it quite easy to mount and dismount this trike. And the other thing to point out is when you mount on a trike, obviously you don't need your feet down on the ground to feel stable. Okay. So pull your foot through here. Now let's take a look at the seat in the highest position. We got a really beefy seat post here. Okay. So you got a lot of play with that seat. <laughs> so in the highest position off the ground now, the seat's 39 inches. So you've got seven inches of travel here on your seat post. From the stem to the front of the handlebars is 18 and a half inches. From the ground to the top of the stem here is 39 inches. And we can actually make some adjustments here. I'll show you in a second. The width of the handlebars is 28 inches. From the handlebar to the seat, is only 16 inches. And the reason we did that is because we wanted riders to have the bars, now I'm way up high. We want to have the bars come into your body. So let me go ahead and adjust here. Just kind of show you, let's bring this down to a more reasonable level for me. Okay. Now you can see how the bars come towards my body and I've got great steering right here. Okay. Let me take a look. So from the stem 
to the seat clamp is 22 inches. And let me also measure the basket here. So the basket is 21 inches wide by 17 and a half inches by 11 inches. And we make bags that will fit uh, in this basket, different styles of bags that you can find on the website as well. Don't forget this also has a rear differential back here, which helps tremendously with the traction um, and turning to some extent as well. Uh, the length of the forks are 20 inches. The stem is six and a half inches. And now let me show you a few things up here. So right now we've got the uh, stem in the lowest position. And I'm gonna get my tool here and show you how much higher we can raise this up. Okay, so you can actually loosen this. Okay, now from there, there is a line, but you can see, this is just a cap here. So we can bring that up, like I said. Okay. And so from there, now you get an extra, uh, you know, about an inch and a half of height out of those handlebars. The other thing that's really cool is in the front here, we can actually loosen this right here. Okay. And once that's loose, we gotta loosen the side here as well. Okay. There we go. And from there, I gotta loosen this bolt a little more. There we go. Okay, now from there, you're gonna have play to bring the handlebars up and down just a little bit. So if you wanna bring them closer to you like this, you can do that, or you can bring them farther away. The choice is totally yours. So it's just another adjustment point. And we're gonna do another sizing video where we'll show some varying rider heights. And I'll show you how you can utilize that to find the perfect position. So the really cool thing is we've actually got five custom adjustment points on this trike. The tilting of the seat, raising, lowering of the seat, tilting of the handlebars here, raising and lowering, and then also the tilting and the uh, bringing in of the handlebars right here as well. So I think I've covered, oh, one more I know is with the wheel turned. Let's go ahead and measure that. So with the wheel turned in the front here to the back, it is 72 inches. Okay. So I think that's covered mostly everything. If I've missed a measurement and you're watching on YouTube, comment below. Otherwise, reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. Don't forget, 30 days to test ride your e-trike. If you don't love it in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for up to a year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we take care of it, parts and labor. Lastly, join our Facebook group. There's a, it's called 630 Peddlers. There's thousands of members in the group. Jump in there, talk to existing riders before you purchase to get comfortable. Then when you have yours, answer other people's questions, post in the group, make friends. There's people all over the country in there. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.